Good morning, I'm Judy Clark with the Allegheny Journal and we're welcome, welcoming today Joan Vannerstahl. And Joan is a very active member of our community and one of the things that she's active in is the What's Your Story project. Good morning, Joan. Good morning. Can you tell us briefly about what, what's your story, <laughs> say what's my story, what's your story project, what's it all about? Well, we started it, a group of us started it uh, about four years ago uh, as an effort to bring people together to share some stories of our area's past as um, well as spend some time together um, getting to know one another. And um, we have to date put out four books. Uh, the first one is on the Historic Masonic Theater, and that one was ready for the grand reopening of the theater. Right. And we went on to the CNO Railway, which um, is obviously a very important part of our right. history. And then you have the other two. I have two. the Green Pastures, or the story about the Longdale Recreational Center in Eastern Allegheny County. And the last one was about Dabney Lancaster Community College. And the reason we're talking about these today is because we think that they would make great Christmas gifts for people who either live here or used to live here and have moved away because they're just such wonderful pictures and stories from people who have lived it pretty much. And uh, full disclosure, I was involved in the, <laughs> in the writing of some of this, but it was yeah. a lot of fun. Really uh, interesting talking to a lot of people who have, have lived these stories. And um, where can people get these books? Well, they're for sale around town, uh, around Clifton Forge. You can buy them at the Clifton Forge Antique Mall, um, at Livy's Closet, uh, the CNO Railway Center. Um, help me out here, Judy. <laughs> Um, there is a website you can go. To, uh, there's, there's a Facebook page. There'll, there'll be a link to this after um, with on the ad after the video is, is over. But uh, yeah, they're they are available in a lot of different places, and that you can also order them online. I believe that's a new that's a new addition. Yes, um, we thought we needed to um, make it possible for people to buy these books online. So that is. Um, Definitely. up and running and we think they would make wonderful Christmas gifts for <laughs> anyone who has the love of the Allegheny Highlands that Judy and I share. Right. Um, Allegheny Heart, Arts and Crafts Center is another place that uh, you can buy these books if you w would prefer to do it in person. Right. So, And I think we'll have a link to all these places um, in a text to go along with this. And another thing we want to mention is uh, we had a storytelling event back in, was it September, September. I believe? Mm -hmm. We had the first storytelling event and there was a theme about schools and I attended that and it was so much fun. People talked about their experiences here and other places growing up, uh, their experiences with schools. Some were funny, some were um, touching, you know, mm -hmm. got a little emotional sometimes. It was yes. really fun. And we have another one coming up. Tell, tell me when that will be. January 10th um, next year um, from 6 to 8 in the Masonic Theater Underground. We're going to gather again. Um, it's a Friday night, January 10th, and um, we'll spend about an hour eating a potluck <laughs> meal, right. which was delicious in that September. That was great. Yeah, that was really good. And um, then um, invite people to tell their stories. And the theme for January is A Winter's Tale. But I want to make sure everybody understands that they're not limited to telling right. stories about their favorite winter memory or their most infamous winter memory. <laughs> that they can come and tell any story that they feel um, shares who they are and what they care about. Right. Because that's the whole point of these potluck dinners as well as these books, is to gather some stories, gather oral history, um, but also to bring people together in community and begin to talk to one another. That's what I saw in September. I, I did, yeah. You did, Judy. I did, I, because I think initially I thought, well, people are just going to talk about their experiences here, but it was a little more wide-ranging than that. And it got, we learned about some new people who'd moved to the community and where they grew up. And it's, it's, you know, we all have that in common. Everybody has, you know, growing up in common. And, and I think the winter, I've already got a story ready for winter, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope many others do too, uh, to share on January 10th, 6 to 8 p.m. in the Masonic theater underground um, what I saw on in September was people who did not know one another exactly sitting yeah. down around literally a round table and getting to know one another yeah. and, and once it started it just kind of um, 
cascaded, I guess. Everybody has something that, even if they came to listen to other people, they realized they had something to say. And after people they heard, who had initially yeah, said, I'm, I'm not, not doing getting. that. <laughs> exactly. Got up and told some, as you said, some very funny stories. Some that, you know, made me tear up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I know. That was, that was um, they special. were very honest, and they were very revealing, and they were very community building. Yes, I loved it. And, and I, I think everyone had a great time. I, I had a wonderful time, and I yeah. will look forward to that on January 10th. And don't forget, these books are available, the What's Your Story books about the Allegheny Highlands, and uh, we'll, we'll put a website on here after, after the video is over. Joan, thank you so much for coming, and uh, Merry Christmas to you. And to you, too. Thank you. Thanks.